Hello and welcome to the Roland Studio. Hello guys. Um, by request by a few people, uh, they kind of wanted to ask me if I would do a tutorial on how I did my dominoes. Now, um, I've had these dominoes for years. Four years, I think, is what it's been. I have been meaning to alter these forever. Um, the first time I... Sorry about that. Was on a channel by a... Um, a woman I believe her name is Archie D and I was so inspired I went and searched out so many dominoes I found these and then I got the little miniature dominoes and I bought a whole slew of them and I never did a darn thing with them I don't know if many of you can relate to that but we get caught up caught up in so many crafts that we forget which one we're doing so by request uh, I had I say by request uh, I did have um, some folks asked me uh, if I would do a tutorial. Kiki Dotson was one of them. Uh, there was another woman uh, that I don't recall her name. I don't think I really personally know her, but um, she thought it would be cool if I did do a tutorial. So, um, I, I, I've i been doing more of a calm thing with some pressed, fresh pressed flowers. And so, of course, naturally that's where my mind went was for my fresh pressed flowers and I thought well you know everybody likes the farm theme thing and I like the farm theme thing <laughs> the farm theme thing that might be the title of this of this uh, altered domino the farm theme thing but I wanted it to be a country look and I found that there weren't a lot of small uh, miniature things that I found to at my hand because I don't order online because I'm never home to get it so if you know, go to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Walmart, any of those places, it's hard to find a charm that represents the farm theme in a miniature. I mean like a miniature miniature. So I, I did with some difficulty, you know, have to come up with a few things on my own, uh, but they weren't as hard as I thought they would be. So I'm going to alter maybe one or two similar to what I've done. Um, don't mind these, these were some test scrimshaws that I did. If you don't know what Scrimshaw is, I do have a, a, uh, a playlist on Scrimshaw. So um, I wanted to do a farm theme. So uh, one of the things I was able to do was this um, this mason jar and I'll do a close-up of that. And the other one, the other couple that I did, and I'll show them all to you. This one was a country blue and I used um, of course real flowers and some polymer clay flowers in there and some copper leafing as well that's upside down but I'll show them to you up close uh, I have posted these pictures in my Facebook group uh, along with many others um, Kateri's crafty ideas Facebook group is where you'll find them also because she is the reason that I went ahead and she jolted me because she was doing a altered swap on dominoes. I cannot commit to swaps because of my job and time frame. I cannot commit. So I have to do things at my at, that works for me. So I can't commit to other people. It's hard enough for me to do just about anything. So the only thing left to do with these dominoes is to add my uh, keychain uh, hooks, my dangles, my purse chain hooks, whatever I'm gonna use them on. I, I don't know, but these are the ones that I created. And I'm doing this video on the fly, so bear with me. I'll do a close up here. I'm gonna try to make this quick. Um, I'm just gonna give you a rundown. This one here is a sticker. Someone asked me how I made this jar lid, but I didn't. This was actually a sticker that I found at the Dollar Tree. It was the only package that I found. Uh, apparently when these came out, everybody just grabbed for them. I sure wished I had gone sooner, but I didn't know they were even in existence. Otherwise, I would have grabbed a bunch of these. On the other hand, there's only a couple of jars that work for this because the other ones have these handles and they're quite big so you can see oh let me get in frame sorry you can see that these stickers are so awesome this is the sticker it's much like the one that's on here this one was clear like a clear gray 
this one's got the little mason jar green tone to it that one that blue one right there this one that one those will work these ones with the handles uh, they're pushing it it's just about the whole size of that domino so the ones with the handles would probably have to be used on another um, medium or substrate probably a little tile or something I have these little uh, two by two inch tiles that would probably be really cute to alter with these other ones so I use that and some polymer clay uh, little limes in here I didn't have any lemons but I did have these limes and after doing this I should have put these up under the sticker so that the mason jar stuff would show through but I wasn't thinking it was just kind of random and I ended up putting them on top of the jar and then putting some dimensional uh, glazing which I used um, diamond glaze to give it the look of being under the jar just as well I also did <clears throat> this in like green tones and uh, green and tan because I was going for the farm look you can see I have the um, jute cord around this and I ended up topping it with a little more paint and some micro beads some copper colored micro beads just because I was keeping it in a farm tone look so there's that one and then here is one that I painted I used chalk paint on these this one I think actually was and I didn't have this color in chalk paint so this one was actually an acrylic paint by uh, Americana the deck art deco line and again these are my pressed flowers um, I didn't do such a real good job on preserving the colors those were actually purple uh, but it, I didn't think that they would lose their color after being dried and everything I didn't think they would lose their color uh, like it would in resin. I actually protected these with some contact paper, but apparently I did not do a very good job because that, that diamond glaze seeped through and they changed colors. They were once purple, so it really saddened my heart. I might retry that one again. Uh, also, you'll see the copper leafing that I added to this to give it that little country farm feel as well. Uh, and then some polymer clay flowers just to stick out. I just thought it was super cute. Um, another one that I did here, this was a um, crimson clover in bloom. Um, I'm still learning the pressed flowers thing. This one didn't preserve the color quite as well as I would have liked it to. And I did not protect this either. Um, they were already kind of dark like that they kind of went really violet purple they look black in the camera but they're not um but i'm going to be doing a little bit uh, i've been experimenting with my my flower press and the do's and don'ts on that so it's a learn i'm a work in process i, I added some uh cat's eye you know flat flat beads flat back beads glass beads just because I thought they kind of represented the sun here and a little dew drops and whatnot there are uh, some fresh pressed flowers in there uh, then I use some dried flowers uh, little I don't know what they call it but they little um, stems from blank slates I'll show them to you in a minute and I did of course manage to get the leaves that I preserved in there as well and if you look really close the background here is more of a, a brown tone but if you look really close under those flowers you'll see a bit of stenciling going on back there uh, it's just on this bottom part I also included some if you could see the iridescent that was some iridescent mylar that I put in there just for a reflective value along with some other cat's eye beads and that purple flower managed to stay purple so but the definition on them yeah I don't know I've got to work on that but that's that one and uh, some of them I put edgings around and some of them I didn't uh, this one I put an edging around this has got a little lace 
a little lace um, trim around it. And I did this one in a lavender tone. It might look more blue to you, but it is lavender. Now this one was a buttercup flower and it worked out really nicely. You can also see the stenciling that I did back here and down here along with some flat back uh, Swarovski uh, flat back crystals. Um, and of course, natural fresh, fresh pressed flowers and leaves. So there's that one. And then this one I'm rather proud of because I really was looking to go a little more farm look as well. And I feel like I did a, a great job at, at bringing that one to this. Um, I know it's close up, but this right here, I did a little forged metal, like tin, a little tin. And over here, and this is actually foil. I used foil and did a uh, forged metal look first. And of course I pa painted the background in pink, but you can't see that it's pink because it's just kind of mudded up from everything. But that's because when I created my little fake tin, like a tin shed, if you would, that's what I used. That's what I made here. That's what that is representing is a little rusted tin sh from a tin shed or something. And you can see that I made the little rivets just like you'd see at the you know in the country and of course it too has polymer clay flowers and fresh pressed flowers I love this one it was a lot of fun and I'll show you how I made this little tin it was really cool and again all of these were coated with diamond glaze for dimension I still have to drill my holes and I still have to create the charms for them but I've got some doozy ideas for those but uh, they probably won't be in this video because I am running short on time so if I don't get started on this tutorial we'll never get started so stay tuned and we'll get started with at least uh, either the mason jar or the tin I'm gonna do one of the two I think or maybe the copper leaf one I don't know if I do one it might just be one that I do and if I do one and you want to see another one, then I need you to comment below of which one you'd like me to show you. Um, actually, I think maybe that's what I'll do is just let this video be uh, what it is and I'll make one separate video for a couple of these. But if you'll tell me which one you wanna see, I'll make that one on the next video. But I'll do one for this video. I don't know which one, but if, if uh, if you want to see the other ones, just comment below. Okay, let's get started. So let me pull these in and do a little close up and you can see what I'm doing. All right. I think that works. There we go. This is what I think I'm gonna use in my next domino. We'll see how it goes. I don't have anything planned, so. First thing I'm gonna do is preserve the flower because I have learned now that even diamond glaze will in fact change the colors and I don't want that to happen anymore. So I'm gonna use some of this scotch tape and I'm just gonna pull a strip off. I learned this trick from a YouTuber uh, by the name of M's Gallery. I don't know if you've ever seen her, but I learned a lot from her so far. Uh, I was already pressing my own flowers and then I found her. And then it was like, okay, now I'm, I'm, I'm learning something here. Because <laughs> I was messing it all kinds of up. So let me see, is that in? Yeah, that's in frame here. I've got it close up. so. It's just a packaging tape, a 3M's packaging tape. And the reason you want to do this is because you want to make an arrangement. So I'm going to move that tape for now and I'm going to choose how I want this to look on my domino. And I think first of all, I'm going to break this one in half. So I just want little pieces, I want foliage. 
And you gotta be real careful. You don't want to damage it. Like I might just did. Might just have done. Okay, yeah, I gotta be careful. So, there we go. I want to be able to make a... What you call it? I should probably grab my tweezers. with these real quick I'm going to make an arrangement of some sort and remember this is going to be on a domino so I want it to I want to make sure that it fits number one let me just get a domino out Okay, I'm just gonna get a new domino and I'm going to make this arrangement according to this domino and I need to move that tape. Okay, so I think I wanna put some background first. Oh, that's so cute. It's so big. I don't need the whole thing, but I don't know if I can make this look just as cute, breaking it up, let's see. Tweezers to I am not a delicate woman. I am a rough woman. I apologize. It takes a lot for me to remember delicacy. To be delicate. Not be so rough handed. I really don't do well with delicate things. So when I say this is a new thing for me, I mean it. And I'm also a bit of in a, in a hurry because I've just got to get this going. I am on my downtime. I've got to deliver first thing in the morning and I've got to drive. There we go. Something like that looks cute to me. And just a little green foliage. Quit it. This tape is getting in the way. Okay. I need to slow down. I'm also worried about making this video so long. But tutorials sometimes take time. If you really want to know what goes into it, sometimes you just got to take the time. Nah. Okay, I'm going to end up tearing this thing up. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to put on there. Oops, sorry. There we go. It takes a minute to arrange it. And I'm gonna leave it on this domino. I, I'm just uh, not gonna move it. Let me adjust this. Bring that down. 
adjust it. Bring that in. And then the blur out. Okay. Now I'm going to take my tape, now that I've got my prints all over it. And this stuff is static clean. It, it, it has static, so you want to try to... Ah! Okay, see it jumped. Did you see it jump? <laughs> you gotta, gotta be quick, because it's gonna jump. Oh my goodness, it jumped. Okay. <laughs> this is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> Did you see it jump? <laughs> okay, it still has some static going on here. All right, dead burn it, dead burn it. Now see, this is the truth of the matter. It's not an easy thing, but now my little green is on here. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Since it wants to be on there, I think I'm just gonna let it be on there. I'm just going to have to do this very carefully. Okay. I don't really like where that leaf is, but you know what? Let's just put the arrangement right there. And you know what? I put the domino underneath it so I can keep it in frame of the domino. There we go. That might just work, you guys. it clean it to the back stop it <laughs> oh. the reason I'm doing this is to preserve the color though because I used uh -oh, let's see, is that still in frame yeah barely okay because I used contact paper it didn't oh man it didn't seal well is getting okay that's not gonna work it's stealing my foliage see these are the problems they're for real <laughs> these, the struggle is real okay it's got a hold of it but you know what I've got this other piece I'm just going to stick it in there, one little piece at a time, and put some green down on there. It still fits. It still fits. Not the greatest arrangement, I know. But being in a hurry doesn't help. I didn't do it this way, I swear it, I didn't do it this way the first round. It actually worked out much better than it just did. It's only because I'm doing a tutorial. Okay, so now that I know this little arrangement will fit on that domino, it's okay that that green's there. I'm going to fold this on itself. Now, the trick is, and I didn't do it well the first time, is to burnish it and seal it down. Now you can do what, uh, on, like I was saying, M gal M's Gallery, E-M, E-M Gallery, M E M S Gallery. She does it through a laminator. I do not have a laminator. But she also does a tutorial showing to preserve them through various tapes. And then 
I just choose the side that I like the best. But the main thing is to get a good seal around these flowers. <clears throat> because you don't, and, and you'll have to fussy cut it. But you want enough tape around it. Turn this heater off. To not break that seal. So I didn't forget what I was saying amazingly. The arrangement's a little fatter, a little wider than I like. But again, quick tutorial. Just trying to get the point across. Make sure you seal those edges. Okay. Put that to the side. And it's a little wider than I wanted, but it is what it is. keep that seal though because you don't want that glue or resin whichever you use you could use the UV resin I'm out so I don't have it but I do love it and you could do set this anywhere you want to so there's that now that we have the arrangement, we can set that aside. And now it's time to choose color on your background. I think to make that pink pop, um, let me back this out just a little bit. Um, I might do this I want a sky color or this green. I've got the sea glass color that's not the chalk paint. And then I've got the sky blue one, which works much like this one did. This one here is ball blue. I said sky blue, but it's fall blue. Or we can do this chalk crystal color. Let's do that. I don't know why, but that one's holding on to me. So we'll go with we'll go with what's got my attention. Ah, uh, my brush is awfully big for this, but let me see if I got a smaller one. Hold on. I do. Good. Because I don't want to get that big thing dirty if I didn't have to. Let's go with spa blue. Crystal. I say spa blue. It's crystal. This is Waverly's chalk paint in, in crystal. Yeah, it's, it's real faint. Very subtle. Looks almost white. Mm. You can see the difference, I think. Well, maybe not in camera. Well, maybe I'll do a double tone. We'll do this first. edges I 
I think the reason I chose the the chalk is because it dries so fast. And since I don't have my inverter, I can't use my heat tool. My cheat tool. <laughs> um, I want to do a little bit of this. Sea glass as well. Maybe do a gradient. Why not? And then I might do some of this deco spa blue anyway, also. You know, you can do it however you want to. This is this part of the tutorial is just your creativity on your own kind, you know, in your own uh darn it. In your own um, interpretation, you can do your own thing. Uh, okay, let me just fix that. Put them a little bit together there. They're very subtle colors. Oh, we just knocked that crystal right out of there. I was actually thinking of putting it right there in the center. In between the two. Okay. Probably not going to make a whole lot of difference. <clears throat> but now I'm going to turn the camera off for now. Let this dry because, like I said, don't have my cheat tool. I'm going to get a close up on that. And we'll be back. Like I said, these colors are very subtle. Um, it's hard to see in this lighting, and I do apologize. Okay, um, now this is the back of my somewhat arrangement. <laughs> but I need to, looks like I need to do some trimming. And this is where I got myself caught up last time. I'm just going to make it fit on here. It doesn't have to be symmetrical on the palette. The main thing is, is I don't want that plastic being in the way. So much. Um, that's all right we'll just put it in the center okay we're gonna let that go we're gonna let, leave it with that now for fun just to show you uh, I guess this is kind of the the one I somewhat chose I'm going to use and I don't remember what brand this is because I don't know where, what happened to it I have a whole slew of this stuff, but it's basically, I can't remember what brand. I'll try to put it in the link below in the description box below. And uh, I'll try to get it to you. But I got this at either Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one of the two. And they come with like 10 or 20 sheets. I can't remember which. Let's see, I've been through mine pretty good. Well, you can't see. I've got it too close up. Okay, so anyways, you can see here's my gold leafing or copper leafing, not gold. This is copper leafing, and I'm gonna need a little glue. I'm gonna use this Mod Podge just because. Oh, 
come on out. There we go. Because one, we need to. I'm not going to use my podge for this. I want something a little more sturdy, so I'm gonna use tacky glue. Aileen's tacky glue on this part. Um, I guess I could have just used that to begin with anyway. So let's get the Aileen's tacky glue. For the back of this. This dried clear, so I'm not too worried about the paint job. It's very subtle anyway. And we'll just rub it around to make sure that we get any air bubbles out. And this is where I worry about seeping in the. Um, For the air to get through so that the the um, diamond glaze gets in between on that tape that's why I wanted that seal really good but we'll just set that there and let it dry not too worried about it because it's going to be sealed again but I'm gonna use this Mod Podge around the edging of this We'll just do it a little bit at a time. Let me get my copper leafing out. And I'm just going to use my finger. Use as much or as little as you want. There you go. So we're going to do that again. Down here at the bottom. I know this is one of the easier ones to do as far as tutorials go, but that's okay. If you want me to do a specific one aside from this one, if I don't do two, I don't think I have time for two. Stuff is, is expensive, so you definitely want to use what you can and not waste it. There it is. And not too worried about it. It will get sealed when I diamond glaze it. 
and you can do as many or as little inclusions as you want yourself and what I mean by inclusions is how much you want to put in here like I use the polymer clay flowers let's see I believe I've grabbed them I've got this little box of biddies here you know I even have wonder, I've got this little dragonfly that might be super cute on there <laughs> oh yeah I think I'll put a little look at the little dragonfly Can you see that mm. anyway it's a <laughs> I don't remember where I got these from either um I think I got them on sale at the 75% off at Hobby Lobby but they're little they're like little buttons so you could take and chop that little button part off. There's a little dragonfly. I'm going to get that. And look, I've got these little tiny baby cards. I'm going to do a domino with a, a poker. That's my next one is a poker style next run of stuff. Um, let me go ahead and get a couple of little flowers out of here. These are my little polymer clay flowers. They're like nail arts or something like that. Pink one, blue one. Oh, you didn't see that. Uh, I'll do a pink and blue right here because it goes with the theme. You can see that with my dirty hands now. Glued up dirty fingers. And let's do... Let's do a green one. Maybe we can pop out a real light green one. Maybe we can pop out that sea green tone. So we'll use that one. And I think that's all I'm going to do. It's just those little four. Um, and because there's already so much copper, I don't think I'm going to add anything else blingy to it. Because that's got enough bling on its own. So, I'm going to get my tweezers. i got to learn to use... Oh, before I do that, I want to cut this off. I'm going to cut this off of the dragonfly. You know what? I don't want to use my tweezers. That's what snips are for, not pliers. Snip that right off the dragonfly. Trim it down. Now, let's see if I can get any more of that off of there. Works enough for me, I think. That's good enough. And now I can tacky glue where I want him. That's going to be super cute. It's a little thick yet, but I'm not too worried about it because it'll sit in the diamond glaze. I want to chop that up a little bit more. Let me see if my other my scissors will get a little closer. You know what? I don't want to use those. Let me use a smaller snip. Yeah. That's what I want. I want more of that button going. Now I like it. It's a little more flat. See, it sits flatter. Very good. It's going to be a long video. I've gotten to where I've made short videos, but 
This one is a true tutorial, so I'm not fast forward in anything. And I'm going to set that there. Might get some Of course, the glue on my fingers are quite tacky still. I just want that to hold long enough till I diamond glaze it. I'm just setting it up. There we go. I want him like that. And then let's put I don't know, a little bit of tacky glue. In different parts. And we'll get. Pink one there, green one there, blue and pink, and then the purplish blue there. Hold on, okay, there we go. That's one. Okay, let's get the diamond glaze. There we go. And I am just going to hope that this comes out. <laughs> hmm. I pulled my pen out of it. Okay, just pulled off. Maybe that'll work. Nope, this thing is blocked somewhere. That's opened. Struggle is real, guys. Now the head of this little unit is blocked. I don't know. I can unplug it from the other side. Let me pause this. I'll be back. Okay, so my pointy tip is just all blocked up. So I'm just going to use the diamond glaze directly. The reason I use diamond glaze is because it's supposed to do well for doming, but naturally, if you put too much, like I might have just done, it's going to go over the other side. <laughs> the happiest with my arrangement the way it worked out um, I just didn't have time to take the time otherwise I would have just did it over I wouldn't have left it like that I swear it but I'm just I've got to get to bed 
and that tape is just a bit over that but I'm not going to worry about it that diamond glaze will get up under it at least and it will seal same thing with this side so you got to really take your time get it right so it doesn't, you don't have that struggle it's like I did but that's the way it's got to be tonight it just does and this video is going to be super long already So there is one of my country farmhouse dominoes in a new style. Um, I will try to do another one with the mason jar. Um, and the other one with the tin if you guys want me to. So just... Uh, let me know in the comments below if that's the way you want it to go. Otherwise, I'm going to conclude this and let it be as it is. Now you can add some micro beads to this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it be as is. We'll talk to y'all later because this is already a super long video. But that'll dry up clear when it's dry. It won't be so milky. Um, I'll try to include a couple of pictures at the end of this video. And again, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you do want to see the uh, mason jar I'm sure you guys do I may just do it anyway as well as the country 10 I really want to do those but I just didn't have time tonight um, also um, I still have to show you my pressed flower dome cabochon that I made um, with my pressed flowers and I couldn't even begin to tell you where it is at this moment. Um, wow, I don't even know where it is. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. So have a blessed day. And by the way, I do have the new channel, Let's Talk. Uh, it is a Christian-based channel. We are reading a book. I've got to get to chapter 15. That's the next one. I have been totally uh, inundated with work. And I went home for four days, so I have not had time to record that one. But um, this was fun, and thank you, Kateri, uh, from Kateri's Crafty Ideas, Kateri Hobson, and uh, for inspiring me to get up off my dominoes, <laughs> get up off the bones, <laughs> and, and, and alter the bones. So I have now altered some bones. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a blessed day. Bye. And don't forget to check out my other channel and my Facebook page. Let's Talk and Let's Talk Real is the Facebook page. And I'm going to let y'all go for real this time. <laughs> okay. Bye. What?